Greetings and salutations. Uh, I just wanted to make a quick video to discuss some of the work I've been doing with uh, 3D printing as it pertains to automotive application. Uh, typically, 3D printing has been done with automotive application, but specifically for manufacturers. Uh, now that 3D printing is making its way into the consumer market, it's becoming easier and easier for people to adapt it for their own needs. Uh, why is this important? It's important because when you have a small project like the one that was requested of me a couple weeks ago, it makes life really easy. Uh, specifically speaking, we had a, a friend, Scott Thomas, who was interested in adapting a BMW 80mm throttle body to his Mini Cooper that has something like a low 60s or something along those lines. Now, while it's important that we're not necessarily sure the throttle body is going to make any more power, what is important is the ability to quickly and efficiently adapt the throttle body, which is plug and play otherwise, to the car, which obviously it doesn't fit flange-wise. Now, what we went ahead and did to start was just basically take the two flanges that were available and then map a three millimeter skin around them and then position them in digital space and simply print it off. The print took about three to four hours and was available that same day. Um, it took a couple of test fits and we actually got a little frustrated and started doing just the flanges themselves in order to get it right. And then we also experimented with some different materials, nylon versus ABS. Um, but eventually we actually got the fitment down and there's a video I'll be playing right now of the car running. Um, but what's important to note here is that we're not necessarily too worried about whether or not this works for this application as far as making power or making drivability, even though it has so far on the road done very well. What's important to understand is that now with this kind of technology we can easily go ahead and just make something that otherwise would take all sorts of time and effort and for replication purposes take a jig. So if I wanted to take this part that we have working and I wanted to make it for more than one person, I would have to create a jig or I'd have to find some way to do it out of metal and replicate it multiple times. Furthermore, if I wanted to make the same part and adapt a different size throttle body, maybe the customer or consumer doesn't necessarily want an 80 millimeter throttle body, I, uh, initially they would have to remake the whole jig and retest fit the product. I can simply just digitally slice off the flange and adapt a different flange immediately. Uh, this opens up a whole world of uh, change and, and acceptability of different parts to fit your cars. Uh, so I just, again, wanted to just uh, talk about where this is going and why it's exciting. So if you get a chance, take a look at it. And uh, if you have any questions, hit me up and uh, we'll go from there. Appreciate it. Thanks, guys.